a lot of the struggle in our Christian life is because we are trying to live this new covenant life centered in ourselves. It just doesn't work. All that effort is wasted. It's like a story I heard of a man who was crossing one state to another. There was a river between this state and the other state and in this state they had prohibition. That means you couldn't drink any alcohol and wine and all that but across the river on the other state you could go and drink. So this guy got into his little rowing boat and went across to the other side and tied his boat there and went and had a big drink and enjoyed himself thoroughly and came back to the boat drunk and started rowing back to his home and he didn't seem to be moving. He rowed and rowed and rowed and rowed and when daylight came he discovered his boat is still tied to the tree. <laughs> A lot of Christian activity is just like that. I'm doing this for the Lord and that for the Lord and I'm doing this, I'm going here, I'm giving money, I'm giving this, but my life is still centered around myself. Snap that and a little bit of effort can take you a great distance. This is the Christian life. It all depends on whether I've cut that thing that ties me to a self-centered life. It's not a theory, my brothers and sisters. This is what the story of the elder son and the prodigal son is. Two sinners centered in themselves till a day came in one of them where he said, I'm finished. It's true, I'm coming back still a bit centered in myself because I want food. Now give me bare necessity, that's enough. But it's in a different spirit. I don't deserve anything. First there was a sense of I deserve. Now there's no sense of deserving. I want to ask all of you brothers and sisters, when you come to God, do you have a sense I deserve this because I've served you so many years? Or do you say, Lord, I deserve nothing. If you give me what I deserve, it is hell. Everything is God's mercy. Thank you. I'm a child of God, I'm, but it's not because of anything in me. 